Now I have five separate documents, one with each of the images in it that I have a thumbnail for on the left. And the next thing I'm going to do is to link from the images on the left to these main image documents on the right. Now one thing to take note of before we start to do this, here when you look at the frames panel, you see that I have a top frame, a main frame, and a left frame. Those are the names that Dreamweaver automatically gives these. You can actually change those names if you want to. You can replace this with anything you want, as long as you don't use spaces or special characters. You may get tired of me saying that, but it's really important, especially when you name elements like this. No spaces, no special characters. So you have a top frame, a left frame, a main frame. I point this out because one of the things that's important as you set links from one frame page to another frame page in a browser window like this is that you target where you want that page to open when the link happens. And you do that by identifying main frame, top frame, or left frame, the name of the frame area. I think as you do this, it'll start to make sense. If we want to link this first image, bay.gif, to the document we created that corresponds to it, we're going to create that link much like we would create any other link. Click to select the image, come down to the Properties Inspector, see the Browse button next to the link, click the Browse button, and now let's find Bay Doc. Okay, click Choose. So you've now set a link from this image to the page we created called Bay Doc that looks like this. It has the words at the top and the bigger image in the middle. But we want to make sure that when you click on it here, it opens here and that requires a target. So notice in the Properties Inspector there is a target option, and when you click the arrows there, in the target window you'll notice you have several options. The top four are always there, and I'll cover those in the next lesson when I get into tips and tricks for setting links. But the three at the bottom of this list, main frame, left frame, and top frame, correspond completely to what you just saw and what's still visible in that bottom right corner. So if you choose top frame, then that link would open in the top area where the banner is. That's not where we want it. If you choose left frame, then it'll open in the same place as the original image, and that's not going to work either. So obviously we want it in the main frame. The goal is that when you click on the little thumbnail on the left, it opens the document in the area to the right. So I'm going to choose main frame as my target, and let's go on to the next one. We'll set a few of these links, and then I'll show you in a browser how they work. So Berkeley Sunset, again, we're going to use the Browse button to link. We're going to find our Berkeley document. You start to appreciate why I was so careful with that naming convention, so that when I mash these up, it's easy to set these links. I want to target this in the main frame. Scroll down a little more. We'll just set these last three real quick. So Death Valley, choose, and target main frame. Starburst, link, Starburst, choose. And again, we want to target main frame. And finally, the last one are dancing trees. And even though it's visible here, that really doesn't matter. What you have open on the screen while you're setting these links does not affect where the links will actually link to. So we click to select the dancing trees. Click the little browse button next to link. We look for tree dance, choose, and again, we set the target to main frame. Now this time when I save, I'm going to choose File, Save All, because I want to make sure that I've really saved everything I've done to date. And I'm going to choose Preview in Safari so I can see if it worked. Now notice here that that title, Ken Milburn Photography, that's because I put that title on the frame set, so even though it's not visible on each of these pages, it is visible at the top. So let's test and see if those links worked. If I click, look at that Bay Area dock, Berkeley Sunset, Death Valley, Starburst, and dancing trees.